a revolt here and uh, wanted to show you guys some of the avionics and uh, the radio and the transponder and the ADSB and how all that works. So come take a look. So this is the MGL Extreme that we use that comes standard. It's the only instrument that comes on the uh, Revolt or the Rev or uh, Rev X, I should say. Uh, we have a uh, in-dash radio, it's an MGL V6. And as you can see, our warning light is on right now. Our oil pressure uh, alarm is uh, on, it's low. And we don't even have any uh, gauges up yet, but no matter what screen you're on, and of course it's showing low because the engine's off, but no matter what screen that you're on, it's going to alert you to the problem um, if, if anything goes out of parameter, whether it's your fuel, uh, exhaust gas temperatures, whatever. You can clear it by pushing in on the knob, just like that. Now this little color display has everything except for a color moving map. It has several pages. You can toggle by using the left or the right. So we're gonna go a page over. Now I just pulled up engine information on the right with my artificial horizon and a compass and uh, different screen for the gauges here. And this is my favorite uh, uh, screen here because it gives us everything except for the artificial horizon. So kind of starting at the top, we've got GS, that's our ground speed. So something really useful on a slow flying aircraft is you're gonna have uh, the ability to know how fast you're actually going across the ground. Of course, you have your airspeed. You also have your true airspeed. Another thing we've got is density altitude, that DA. So right now we're at 323 feet DA. Our actual is actually about 90 feet. To adjust the altimeter, you just turn the knob and that's gonna adjust our altitude. Um, we're at 90 feet here, so it's about as close as I can get. Top number in the box, 058, that's 58 degrees. That's our compass on this particular screen. Coming over here, you see that this is uh, all sectioned off. This is your engine monitoring uh, more than uh, airspeed and whatnot on the left. So we've got our tachometer, you've got oil temperature, we've got oil pressure, we've got our fuel gauge, and then toggling here, we've got our uh, EGTs, two of them, and our CHTs, two of them. Now, kind of stepping back, we've got a VSI, that's a vertical speed indicator, it tells us how fast we're going up or going down. Then over here, We've got a flight time, it'll actually tell us our flight time. We've got Zulu time, local time. Um, we've got a Hobbs meter, tells us how many hours are in the aircraft. And we've got a maintenance timer, so we can set that and it'll count backwards. So if you want to set your maintenance timer to 500 hours, uh, where some major service is gonna be due, um, this'll count that down for you. Now, if you have a transponder, which this one is equipped with an ADSB. Uh, in and out transponder. Uh, we're gonna have to go to, if you push the button in, that pulls up a menu. But if you notice, uh, the first thing under the exit is mark a waypoint. So we don't want that. To get to our transponder, we do have to be on a screen that has an artificial horizon display like this one. Now when I push, you're gonna see that the transponder is the first thing to come up. When I come in, I click. And now this is my transponder control. I can exit, I can change the mode. Right now I'm on standby. By clicking the hot button that corresponds to each one, I can change the mode from standby to on. Now we're on on. I can go to alt and then I can go back to off. I can ident, I can change my squawk code. I can go back to VFR which is 1200. So right now you'll see we're on 1200 standby. And so that's our EFIS, that's how we control our transponder. This is our MGL V6 radio, it's a dual band radio, which means you'll see there's two frequencies. One at the top is the one that we're listening to, the one at the bottom, and you see it blinking right now, that means we're receiving. You can actually see the RX. And the one on the bottom's on standby. So if you're going to a towered airport, for example, um, you can switch from the tower to ground just by clicking the silver button. And so whichever frequency is up on the top is gonna to be the one that you're listening to and the one that you're talking on. Now, let's say you want to monitor both. You hold the silver button for two seconds, one, two, and now you see that it's uh, flicking back and forth. That lets you know that you're listening to both, you're transmitting on the top, and so, hit it again, you're still listening to both, but now you're transmitting on the other frequency. 
And then, uh, God forbid you have an emergency, you hold this for three seconds, and this is going to bring us over to 121,500, and uh, that is our uh, emergency frequency to go to. God forbid you have uh, an engine failure and you want to uh, report what's happening, just hold that down for three seconds, it'll get you there uh, immediately. Now, to use this radio, you have a menu button here, and that'll bring you in. You have uh, what's called Vogad, that's noise canceling. You can adjust that. The next one is your squelch. Uh, channels, you can preset different channels if you like. Contrast, just uh, for viewing. And this is a really, really easy to see, even in the sunlight. Uh, even though it's LCD, it's, uh, it's really, really nice and uh, uh, dark. Uh, microphone level, you can turn that up or down. Uh, this has audio in and audio out, so you can adjust the uh, volume of the music or the phone call that you might be taking while you're in flight. And then you have microphone filters, so we have off, weak, medium, and strong, and that really helps to clean up uh, your uh, transmissions, get rid of engine noise, and uh, just give you a good, good sound on the radio. Uh, scanning. And then uh, there's some additional stuff in setup. But anyhow, to get back out, you hit your menu button. Now, what I love about this radio is it has the comm built in, which is what we use. And so we have RX volume. You simply turn the RX volume. You've got it nice and numbered there. That's what you're going to hear when somebody's broadcasting. However, if you push the button in, that's going to bring you to IC volume, which is intercom volume. And you see it just went away. So if you're not quick and you turn it again, you're going to be back on the receiver volume, which is not going to change the volume between you and your passenger. So push it in, and now we can adjust the intercom volume as high or low as you want. And so long as you keep moving the volume, uh, it doesn't have to be timed. So you just need to make sure when you push it, you're ready to adjust the volume. And so that's basically our avionics package with the uh, Revolt. Very, very easy to see, very, very easy to use. Uh, the menu, by the way, is the last thing I'd like to show you. So we click on the menu, and this is really neat. Um, we go into our engine management setup. I'll just show you how we do this real quick. I'll pick something. So RPM 1. So this is set up for a twin engine. Of course, our RPM 2, you'll see if we go in there, you'll see it's off. I could certainly turn it on, but uh, that wouldn't do us a whole lot of good with just one engine. So we can go back, and we'll go over to, let's say, our cylinder head temperature. Now you see our cylinder head temperature has a high alarm of 245. Let's say we want to make that the actual Rotax red line of 248. I click here. Now I'm ready to adjust this. And you see the X1 here. So let's say you want to, there's our 248. But now let's say we want it to go to 348. I can click the hot key here, go to 10, go to 100, and boom. 348 degrees. I will not get an alarm till 348, which would be a fried Rotax. So we're going to go ahead and put that back 248, and I'll even bring that back down to 245 just for a little bit of leeway. But this gives me all of my parameters where I'm going to get warning lights, um, and then I can literally just exit. That'll take me completely back out of the system. So thanks for joining us. That is the instrument panel on a Revolt. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you'd like to learn more about trikes or already fly trikes, check out trikeaction.com, where the action is.